Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero has been out for a month now, and we can all agree that the game, even though it has a lot of content, it's still lacking content. There's been no news on like extra additional free updates aside from the DLC. I don't know what's going on, but it's content that is already in the game, but it's not available to us, and that kind of irks me. So for today's video, we are gonna react to a video titled What's Missing from Sparking Zero. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has been a great success for Bandai Namco. Not only is it the most played fighting game ever on Steam, but it sold 3 million copies in just 24 That's hours. Crazy. But now that the dust has settled, it's clear that there are... Oh yeah, chat bro. Um, Tomorrow makes in a fucking month since Spartan Zero has uh, officially came out, bro. That's, that's so crazy, bro. A fucking month already? That's, that's so crazy. Things missing from Sparking Zero. And to get an idea of what they are exactly, I asked the community to share their opinions. And the response has been overwhelming. And so in this video, we're going to dive into the features, characters, stages, and modes that fans want most from Sparking Zero in the future. There is a lot to talk about, so let's get straight into it. And by far the biggest request from the community has been stages. to add more stages. Oh my god, bro. I didn't... I didn't think, bro, the stages would get me so mad, bro, because look, bro, the stages, like, it looks so good, right, for me? But, man, bro, we need some more stages, bro. Bro, I mean, look, Jack, fucking Kami's Lookout, bro. That's, that's a huge mess. I think, bro, that and, and the fucking Glacier map, bro, that is some huge misses, bro. Huge misses. Like, ah, man, bro, the stage is really just it gets me so mad because it's so good, bro. But, bro, and, and every DBG game, except for, even Fighters, bro, to a, like, even Fighters has some fucking stages and stuff, bro. But, man, bro, it's like, come on. It's like, damn, bro, it's getting mad, bro. At launch, the game came with 12 stages which covered most of the key locations from the series like Namek, the World Tournament Arena, West City, Land of the Kais, and the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. However, there are still some major stages from the classic Budokai oh Tenkaichi God, games that the, the fans stages, want to see bro. returned, and by far the most look, popular look one the is the Glacier Stage. I sure hope you're ready. Who can forget all no. the epic confrontations we had in the icy tundra? Or more accurately, in the icy waters, because that's where all of my battles always ended up. For some reason, the CPU just loved to go underwater. Look, Android 13 just decided it to go is, for a is, quick dip right at the start of the fight. The Hell Stage, in particular the Hell variant from Movie 12, has also seen quite a bit of demand. Imagine fighting Janemba in his own backyard. Kami's Lookout is another classic stage that's notably facts, missing facts. from Spark Zero. Who can forget giving poor Mr. Popo a cardiac arrest as you destroy the lookout? Likewise, Master Roshi's house is also missing, which is really puzzling because it's there it's, in the it's, campaign. It's, it's, in the Look, game. it's all rendered and ready bro, to be played on. Bro, I think Spark and Zero just like, it just have, it just have fucking cut content, bro. Like, honestly, chat. All them characters we don't fucking need, bro. For me, I like, bro. I would say, bro. Yes, bro. Um, I think out of out of everyone, bro. Yes, bro. We definitely need fucking GT in it, bro. But all them other characters we didn't like, bro. We didn't need, bro. Like for me, I would have took some fucking maps, bro, and stuff like that instead of Age of Thirteen. I mean, I like, like for me, bro. I I don't know, chat. I, mean, I don't know. Plus, you already have the island stage with the ocean and the environments all set up. Maybe that's why it was left out. The developers could have thought that these two locations would be just too similar. Fans of the original Dragon Ball have also called for Grandpa Gohan's yo, house to be yo, included. Yo, 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 yo. Whoops, sorry about that, Grandpa. Whilst fans of Dragon Ball Super were disappointed by the absence of the oh Universe 6 God. stage. But it's not just about adding new stages. Fans were also asking for destructible environments. Now, don't get me wrong, Spark 
Parking Zero does have them to a degree, but we're talking about destroying the entire stage like back in the day. I don't really this is only possible yet. on Namek, but players like Dennis really Berger would like yet. to see it expanded to the rest of the stages. Now, whilst we're on the subject of stages, another big request from the community has been to include them in local split screen without having to use mods. Currently, the only stage you can play on is the hyperbolic time chamber, and apparently this was due to the Xbox Series S being underpowered. But many fans Xbox, have bro. L box chat, hey, bro. That's why I say, bro, my nigga, fuck them Xbox niggas, man. Like now that the classic games also face the same resource issues and found ways to Six overcome ones. them. Cosmic is stone summarizes oh, it best in his hey, comment. Man. In Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and Raging Blast, the maps were slightly different with less destructible elements in split screen I, I mode think, because the systems could more, not like, handle it. I, I suspect the same issue persists now, and they likely don't feel like making slightly different versions of each map for the couch multiplayer when the vast majority of people play online these days. It sucks. And I think I speak for most fans when I say that we'd gladly take slightly smaller, less destructible stages if it meant we could tried. finally get out of the hyperbolic time chamber. Okay, everybody oh start God. screaming really loud now. This must be healthy. Now, of course, bro. what's the point in all of these new stages if you don't have the characters to populate them? And whilst at launch, Sparking Zero does have a great roster, there are still so many fan favorite characters which are missing. And the most requested seem to be characters from the original Dragon Ball. Characters like Early Kid Goku, Mercenary Tao, Demon King Piccolo, General Blue, and Android yeah, 8. Bro, Plus, yeah. you could forget I mean, all yeah, the deep cut characters six from NK3 like Nam, Tambourine, like, bro, and Devil Man. And while she's not technically a Dragon Ball character, there has been quite a lot of demand to see Arale return to the roster. Fans have- Bro, man. It could be a crazy fucking DLC update, free update, or, 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 or something like that, bro. Like, for me, it could be coming soon. I don't, I don't want to say that because for me, like, but... It's so much fucking cut content from Sparking Zero for real. We've also been calling out for more characters from GT, with the most in demand being Super 17, 17. who's a Hey bro, but look man, look bro, look, look bro. If Super 17 wasn't meta, bro, like, bro, this All I see is the same character, so I'm not mad over any character not fucking being in this shit, bro. Like, oh, to me? Like, I want to see more fucking costumes and stuff, but I don't care. I don't care about no character. In it. Like, bro, it's, 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 it's mad characters, bro. Exclusion seems it's, rather it's, strange it's seeing characters. a Sparking Zero already includes both Super Baby and Omega Shenron. Likewise, there has also been demand for fan favorite Z characters like PyCon and Android 21. Uh, hey, Plus hey, 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 chat. Now, I was fucking lying, bro, because, yeah, I kind of want to see Pike. Yeah, I I think I think that everyone who's not in this shit, bro, I would I I I would see Pike, bro, for me. You know what I'm saying? Pike would be like fucking crazy. Plus this game. Popo, everybody loves Popo. Now, personally, I'm still waiting for Raspberry, Blueberry, and the giant crab right, that bro. ate them to be included in the roster. And naturally, you can't talk about Dragon Ball characters without mentioning their transformations. Once again, Sparking Zero does have a really good range of transformations all across the character roster, but that doesn't mean there still isn't room for more. One particular absence that has Vegeta fans raging is the exclusion of his blue evolution form. Well, it is already technically there as a temporary transformation as part of Super Saiyan Blue, but apparently it was supposed to be a standard. Oh yeah, bro, this shit. Yo, yo, I look, chat, look, guys, look, now look, I'm a, I'm a, as I niggas this, guys. If they were separate characters, would y'all want that instead of, of, of like a power up and stuff? Like I didn't, I didn't think, like for me, bro, this was gonna, it was, it was gonna happen. I I didn't I didn't think this would happen, bro. But for me, damn, that's that's crazy, bro. I didn't talk about this shit yet. I didn't talk about this shit on the channel, bro, because I I I I didn't get a chance to, bro. But now, bro, for me, bro, now that I'm saying now, like for me, bro, now that I'm seeing this right now, it's like damn, bro. This I don't know. I don't know.
Honestly, I don't know. The lone character, same with Goku's blue Kaioken. And speaking of new transformations, both Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan are currently missing, much to the player's dismay, especially after seeing that Gamma 1 and, and 2 have been announced for the first batch of DLC. Players have also called for fan favorite what if Super transformations from the past, such as Super Saiyan <laughs> Bardock. So, yo, Super Saiyan Bardock would have went crazy, bro. Yeah, this was definitely a miss. Even though, even though Super Saiyan Bardock isn't canon, bro, like, bro, he he's he's fucking modernized, bro. Like for me, so I I would have said this, but at the end of the day, it's not it's not like for me actually real. But yeah, bro. Bardock and Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and I right, nah, I don't care about these niggas, bro. I don't I don't care about these niggas. Um yeah, I don't care about these niggas. Broly, after all, the latter two were a big part of the Raging Blast games. Yeah, which yeah. Were I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure why why he said um he he said fucking DLC characters, bro. It's, it's like bro, they're fucking good characters. Yeah. I don't know why he said that. For ...assessor to Sparking Zero. Fans have also asked for more great ape transformations. Currently, only Super that. Baby and Scout... I don't care about that, bro. I don't care about any great apes. Yes, bro. Yes, it it, it, it would make sense, bro. But I don't care. Like, for me, it's like, bro, these niggas is not... Have those transformations. But yeah, true that, though. this to Chenkaichi 3, which had nine different characters transform into their Ozori but It was a copy and I mean, paste. Look, we're not expecting to get Facia with her great ape form, but at least give it back to characters like Raditz and Nappa. Okay, now let's shift gears and talk about the story mode. While Sparking Zero does cover many arcs from Z and Super, it's still missing some big chunks of the story. In particular, sections from the original Dragon Ball. And likewise, going all the way to the end of the story, many fans will like to see sagas from GT incorporated into the story. After all, they've already added many of the characters and transformations from that series. And if you're concerned about the continuity, I think, see, I think um, these would slot in perfectly um, as new What If um, sagas um, taking um, place soon, after I, the I, Fans soon. would also like to see story arcs from the classic movies be included into Sparking Zero. Again, many of the characters are already there. Also, Vegeta fans have expressed their disappointment at the lack of Dragon Ball Super story content for Oh the yeah, bro. So I didn't play with you the story mode yet, bro. I mean, I gotta play story mode, guys. For me, I gotta play story mode. Yo, if 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 y'all want to see me play story mode and stuff, guys, um, you know, I'm 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 down for it, bro. But yeah, I seen that he doesn't have a fucking uh DBS side of the story mode. That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. Saiyan Prince. Another element That's noticeably missing from Sparking Zero are the extra game modes, most notably the survival mode. Several fans have also requested an ultimate battle yeah. mode similar to the kind we had in the classic Tenkaichi trilogy, but the most requested game mode is Tag Team, as many players would uh, like to be able to- uh, Tag Team would have been- Bro, I fucking wish that chat out of everything, bro. I would fucking want Tag Team I'll 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 want tag team and voice and like and I and I fucking and I fucking voice chat, bro. Yo yo, what's good, bro? Uh, Sparking Zero is like BC One. Uh, um, I don't I don't know, bro. For me, I don't know because I have not played fucking BT One and like Mad Long, so yeah, I don't know, bro. To team up with a friend instead of just beating Tag the crap out of each crazy, other. Bro. And Tag finally, team. here are some requests oh, that don't quite fall into any specific category, but are still important for many players. For example, many fans would like to see move customization options make a return. Many fans have also requested a larger variety of alternate outfits and just... costumes. Yes, some characters like Goku have a pretty decent selection, but it can be expanded beyond the obvious outfits seen in the story. I'm talking about fan favorites like Batman Vegeta, oh. Supreme Kai Gohan. Nah, nah. I think Sparkman Zero is just gonna have like, like for me, updates and stuff like that for me. Uh, I don't think it's, it's gonna be a sequel to Sparkman Zero. Like, it's gonna be like a fucking. It's, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like fucking um, probably fucking Xenoverse on that type of timing. 
But I don't see a sequel or for me nothing like that coming, bro. For me. And the myth, the legend himself, Postboy Piccolo. In fact, can we just get an entire DLC pack of characters with their casual outfits? I would Many take fans it. have also requested the addition of soundtracks from the classic Tenkaichi games, and a few players have experienced issues with the matchmaking on the Xbox, which they have to fix. And so cut, there bro. we have it, the most requested sparking zero features from the community. And I think it's fair to say that wow. whilst most fans have had a great time with the game, there is still a lot of room for growth. And the opportunity to expand Sparking Zero to become one of the best Dragon Ball games ever made. It certainly has the foundations for it, but I guess only time will tell. A big thanks to everyone who's left feedback which has made this video possible. Please leave a comment below if you think there's anything else that I've missed in this video. As always, thanks for watching. Please consider supporting me on Patreon and a big thanks to my existing <sighs> man, patrons. Bro. If you've enjoyed this video then please remember to like- Hey bro, WVid man. Like, feel me? I just hope, bro, that, that like, for me, all this Sparkling Zero cut, all this fucking cut content, bro, is gonna be in Sparkling Zero and stuff, man. Uh, because, yeah, man, like, it's, like, bro, it's so much stuff. It's so much stuff, bro, that we have, bro. But I just feel like all, all the fucking cut content, it doesn't make no sense, right? So it it could be a it could be a fucking free update it could be fucking DLC bro I don't know uh, Spike Chunsoft brand I don't I don't know what they're gonna do and stuff man but um, yeah man.